This is all your pieces for your clothes rack. This is the bottom and the side rack. You have your wheels, your top bar, your side bars, and the bonus pop up box. We're going to start out by sliding the top bars together, and then you're going to add the side bar. So you're going to start with these four pieces. Now that you have those four pieces put together, now you're ready to connect the top side to the bottom side. Again, you just slide it in the bar and click it in place. Your last step is connecting the bottom together. Again, you just slide the bars together and snap them in place. You have the rack together. You're ready to place the wheels on. The wheels are heavy duty. They come with the screw and the nuts and washer already on it, so you'll have to take them off to connect them to the bottom. Nice, thick wheels. They roll very smoothly. Again, they're heavy duty. You have two wheels with the lock on them. I put them at the same end. Just slide them in your hole. Put your washer and your nut and screw them on. Making sure they're tight. Now that you have all four wheels on, again, notice that I have the two locking ones on one end and the two that do not lock on the other end. You have the option to place your lock on. This is for storage and this is optional. I have the rack in the shortest position and notice it's plenty long for my husband's pants and my pants. You can also make it 11 inches taller. If that's not enough room, you can extend both ends of the top of the rack. This gives you plenty of extra long for your coat. You also receive a pop-up box. This is the inside of the box. Just fold it out. Place your inside into the bottom. Your lid, a couple of flaps, and a Velcro. You can use your storage box on the bottom of rack of the clothes rack or place it wherever else you need it. It's a nice size box. When you get through, it's collapsible and easy to put up.